Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of our tutorial series on web application with Oracle Apex. In the previous episode, we have successfully created new page for category module, also added functionality to insert new category, update and delete as well. And in this episode, we will add a new page for our product module. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. So log in to your Oracle Apex dashboard and welcome to the dashboard and let's go to our app builder and here we will select our application which is online store so I'll just click on online store and here we will need to create a new page so let's go to create new page or create page and here we will create form so just click on form and this time also uh, create a report with form or uh, i think report with form is nice because we have a lot of data to fill if we go with this one uh, this uh, will not be practical i think this is uh, the right choice for now so i'll just go to with report with form let's click on next and here let's give our report page name as products this will be products because there will be bunch of a list of products in our product report page and form page name will be like add product we want to add product and instead of normal this time i'll select model dialogs to show that how pop-up looks in our oracle apex application we do not have page group our breadcrumbs will be bread select breadcrumb and it entry name will be products and click on next and here we need to create a new navigation menu as well so i'll just select on this one and it do not have a parent category because it itself is a parent category and it's entry uh, menu entry navigation menu entry will be products and you can give anything uh, you like but i i'd like to go with products and uh, click on next and here as previous we also need to select our table it is uh, thundering outside it's going to rain i think anyway so let's select our table i'll click on this and here we need to select our table which is tbl underscore product so here is our table which is tbl underscore product and let's uh, click on next and it will go to our next section and here we need to specify our primary key which is product id and we don't need to give secondary key column let's click on create so we have successfully created our product space as well so let's click on run and save button it will load our application and let's click on navigation menu and here we have products and here we have categories and here we have products since we do not have any products it says no data found but we can add it by clicking on create button and here we do not have product id because it's auto increment we need to give category id this is not the right way to give uh, or select the category instead we need to have a drop down menu and we will add that functionality in next tutorial in other programming languages we used to call it as drop down or combo box in c sharp desktop application but in oracle web application we call it list of values or lovs list of values for now i will give manually i will select one we are saving uh, integer value or number so i'll give one and product title will be let's give one i think one is food so i'll give a name for now burger product description best burger in town or anything you can give and uh, rate i'll give it as 100 rupees and let's say quantity for now we have let's say uh four burgers and let's give add manufacture date as well so it based on the data type it automatically gives its columns or it gives it automatically give its fields for example for since category id 
only uh, gives integer it has a small text box and it is required it has red in top it also it is also required so it has red on top since uh, it can have multiple many character it has like text box or text area same with this and same with this too but in case of mfg date its data type is date so it gives us calendar so when you click on click calendar we can select the date so let's give as 16th april 2020 as manufacture date and let's keep as expired date as well so for now i'll give at 19th so 19th april manufacture date and expired date so let's click on create and uh, product is added successfully here we can see on report this is report for our products so we have successfully created a form as well as report for our products module and in the next episode we will uh, add a functionality to add a drop down in our category id section so thanks so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible and i'll see you on next tutorial till then stay safe take care bye bye